Beloved brothers and sisters, allow me this morning on this cold and and uh, freezing morning to greet you all in that beautiful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe some of you can hear the the the, the noise of the fire. Uh, I'm very close to a, to a fire. Yes, it's cold. I'm just warming myself up while I'm while I'm ministering the word. I'm so glad this morning to speak to you. I love you with all my heart. And I always pray, I say, Lord, give me something to speak to your children. Father, there is a need out there. And I want to just say this morning, brothers and sisters, we love you. We appreciate you this morning. And continue to pray for us. Never stop to pray for us. Whenever you get on your knees, please mention our names. Tell the Almighty God about the Shonich family. If there ever was a time that we need your prayer, it's now. And I can promise you today that we will continue to pray for you. As long as the Lord give us strength and the breath, we will be praying for you, brothers and sisters. I'm trusting the Lord that you are all doing fine. And we pray the blessings of God upon your life. I feel so much inspired to continue this next few days in prayer. Oh my, it's a serious matter, brothers and sisters. Our, our country, the globe, the whole world, it, 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 there's a cry out there. And there's no, there's no way how we can ignore that cry. We have to take heed. We have to join forces like never before and pray like never before. There are somebody out there that needs your prayer. Let's pray before we read the word. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, this is a wonderful privilege. I am so humble. I'm so humble this morning to be able to speak to your children. Father, they are your wife. They are your bride. We have become part and parcel of this great economy, Father. And I just want to pray this morning, O oh God, for the next few days. Lord, what a glorious uh, feeling it, it is this morning, O oh God, to realize that you are right here that you are an ever-present God. And Father, not one time have we seen you fail. You have been on time every time, Father. Sometimes we ought to feeling that you take too long to answer our prayer. But I am so, I'm so, Father, the confidence that we have this morning in you Lord, it is above what this world can give us. It's more, it's worth more than money, more than anything this world can ever offer us, Lord, is to have you, Lord Jesus, with us. I pray for all our friends, some of we have never seen before. Our brothers and our sisters out there, Lord, they are, they are sending this devotion all over the world and different, different nations and countries and people, believers and unbelievers and sinners, sick people, Lord, in hospitals, those that are in prison, those that are in, uh, in, in a bad shape, somehow they are getting this little devotion. Father, I am so humbled to to be able to speak to them. Father, help me, Lord, to remain faithful. Help me, Lord Jesus, to stand for what is right. Bless us this week. 
My prayer is that you specially bless your bride this week, Father. Give them a special outpouring of thy presence. This will be a week of prayer, a week of fasting, a week of intercession, a week of God where your body, where the bride of God, they will join forces like never before. Father, our country is falling apart. Our world is falling apart. Nations are breaking. Lord, thank you for that unshakable Father foundation, which is the word. Lord, we have a kingdom, we have received a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We love you this morning, Father. Forgive all our wrongs. Forgive all our failures. Blessed be the name of the Almighty God. Bless your children, O God. Those that are sick, those that are in need, Father, even if it's just a slice of bread, Lord of a black cup of coffee, Almighty God, Jesus, the longer I serve you, the sweeter you become. Thank you that you are still Jehovah Jireh, that you are still providing. Thank you that you are still providing, Father. In the name of Jesus, we love you. Bless these few moments. Bless them, O God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, before we close, I, I'm just in a spirit of prayer. You know, we, we can talk a lot, we can sing a lot, but we can never pray enough. I, I, I'm just in a in 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 a in a in a, I'm just in a in a spirit of prayer, brothers and sisters. You know, you 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 read all these prayer requests. You you dealing with so many uh, requests every day, and you realize that how many people are in trouble and also in need. It is such an honor for me as a son of God, as a minister of the gospel. To be able to be busy 24-7 with the things of the Lord. I, I could never imagine that God had put out this kind of life for me as a, as a human being. And I realize that how, how privileged I am. And I feel so humble to be part of this great economy of God. And we are so grateful, brothers and sisters, that we can just share and just talk a little bit and encourage you this morning. Maybe you're already at work. Maybe you're already in your office. But I want to just read a few verses out of the Bible. I want to just speak by God's grace this week. We want to speak on Christian Christian maturity. Christian like a full Bruce and sisters, I say it in my own tongue this morning. Dear Barra Bruce and sisters, ons is al te lang in die dinge van die Heere dat ons nog babiekies is. Ek wil vanmorgen praat met elke geloofige. Dear Barra Bruce and sisters, nie even COVID of enige disease of enige aanslag wat geloods word op die breed van God die tijd het aangebreek dat ons volwassen het in die dag moet le. My brothers and sisters from, from uh, Malawi and Uganda and, 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 and Zimbabwe that are also listening in and all over the world, those that understand English. I've just said in my own tongue this morning that if there ever was a time that we, as the body of Christ, have to show, 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 maturity it is now and that is what we would like to just speak on for a few moments and allow most of our time to pray for the sick and the afflicted especially for those those brothers and sisters that has backslidden and many of us has, has, has become so weak because of, 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 of all these difficult situations that we 
have been facing for the last few months and it's more than a year now and in most some of our believers has become so weak we want to pray this week for them that God will revive and restore the joy of God's salvation in their lives i want to read a very familiar scripture we want to speak on christian maturity christen like a full vessel it i want to read in the book of mark chapter 10 normally we will read this verse when we dedicate babies i want to just read it while you also follows in your bible and they brought young children to him that he should touch them and his disciples rebuked those that brought them but when jesus saw saw it he was very much displeased and said unto his disciples suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not because for such is the kingdom of god and verily i say unto you whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of god as a little child he shall not enter therein my brothers and sisters and i want to just draw a very thick line here and i just try to not to explain I always say I'm an uneducated man. I'm just I move by inspiration and I'm not trying to teach you anything different than what is in the word. And I would like to say this morning to you brothers and sisters. It is very simple. I'm a farmer. You cannot plant a seed today and expect to harvest the pumpkin tomorrow morning. That little seed must go through all the stages before that seed is mature before that seed can can become a matured identification of what was in that seed that seed needs to go through all those processes a lot of processes challenges praise the name of the lord and we are the seed of god and we have to go through all these difficult difficult times sicknesses diseases pests pandemics before we can before we can show hallelujah amen the a matured a matured christian and what is important this morning before we pray is very important that we must realize that the natural types the spiritual we cannot remain a baby you cannot remain a baby if we remain babies then there's something wrong with us brother it is important that we realize that we have to grow And the real reason why you pray for your brother that hates you or the sister that spoke against you or the church or your neighbors that hates you the real reason why you pray for those people it's a sign that you have grown to maturity the real fact that you helping the poor and reaching out and stretching out a hand of help even if it's just a glass of water or a few slices of bread what is that you have grown from a baby that always complain and complain and complain and complain you have grown from a baby complaining to a matured son and daughter of god and while you were growing you have made many mistakes And may God help us for the next few days we are not going to deal much on our mistakes that we make but we will be talking about a Christian maturity while we are growing we facing a lot of challenges there's a lot of mistakes that we make 
But I want to just say this morning to you, my brothers and sisters, what a what a joy it is to be able to watch a Christian matured in the things of the gospel. Now we forget about all our mistakes that we've made. But to watch a Christian, a son of God, and a daughter of God, my, we have grown, we have grown as babies. We have, we, we, we were babies. We, we were, we were, we were youth, brothers and sisters. But now we have grown to, to adults. If I can just say adults, but we have grown and God has given us grace. And as we grew, hallelujah, we have made many mistakes, but we have learned a lot. And that is why this morning as we close, we will, we, we will continue tomorrow morning by God's grace. We have learned by all our mistakes as we have been growing to uh, matured brothers and sisters. Oh my. And may God help us this morning. Amen. To grow to that Christian maturity. Heavenly Father, we are closing off this session. This week is a week of prayer. And I pray, O oh God, as they sent in these prayer requests, that many of our brothers and sisters, they will continue sending in their prayer requests. Father, we will be praying this week like never before. Thank you for your word. Thank you for maturity. Thank you for mature people, O oh God. We love you and we appreciate you this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen.